Welcome back, ladies and gents, to uh, Undead Legacy on 7 Days Today. I'm an old guy gaming. It's Horde Night 28. And we are going to see if we can survive this night. I think we'll be okay. Uh, so, yeah, we have... Uh, I got some concrete mix here. So we got that for repairing, and I repaired that all the way up to... Um, 49.68. I didn't want to use another concrete to f repair it all the way, so we got that going. We got plenty of brick to repair the brick um, there. Um, and we got 51 pipe bombs. 51 pipe bombs. And we also have maxed out Sexy Rex. So, I, I think we'll be okay tonight, as long as I can keep things repaired and keep things under control. This is... 28 so i wonder if we're gonna get cops and buzzards in this time i don't know um but we'll see how things go okay so let's uh have some fun here and smash some zombo heads i can tell a big difference with you know the the sexy rex now um it's making a huge difference okay when we get a little cluster of them like that let's just Oh, that must have fallen under, thunder, fallen underneath or something. There we go. We'll just kind of blow some Zika Roos up. I have no skill yet in, you know, the explosives and stuff like that. But even even without any skill, it still is pretty effective. It's if if it doesn't kill them outright, it definitely softens them up quite a bit. But yeah, I, I tell a huge difference because not only do I have more stamina with Sexy Rex, but I also get. I think it gives me like plus 30 stamina every time I kill a zombie too, so it works out quite nicely. Alright, um, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and soften them up. Boom! Love it. I have, you know, found in my <clears throat> seven days to die career that using explosive on Horde Knight is by far the most effective way to get maximum XP. And I do have my um, nerdy glasses on too, so so I'm, I'm glad we're able to start making pipe bombs in, in you know in quantity, and we'll be able to start making ammo in quantity and stuff too. And uh, yeah, this is good. This is good, man. This is good. We got 10,000 XP just from that one explosion. That's <laughs> awesome, you guys. We're gonna we're gonna get a couple levels to that, I'll bet you. Well, I hope we do anyway. Steve, get over here. Can we reach that? Yes, we can. Let's grab it quick, 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 quick. Okay. Yeah, this uh, this little base has done really well for us so far. Uh, all right. You know what we're going to do? Let's drop that and just do a quick repair here. Oh, shit. I didn't want to do that. Well, we did it now. <laughs> I did it again. Shit. Uh... Okay, well, I mean, you know what? What the hell? Let's just try not to do that anywhere else for now. Uh, but we just made this, like, a, a lot stronger, so there you go. Okay, back to head smashing. We don't want to keep that door um, open too long because then they start, you know, busting up on everything else. Yeah, I was just trying to actually repair those, and we ended up upgrading them to concrete instead. But that's okay, actually, you know? That's, uh... It was definitely unintended, but it's not a bad thing at all. Let's scrap these for some research points. And continue smashing heads. I gotta remember, I don't have to... I don't have to run up there. This is... This is a good range right here. Okay, we got enough here, I think, to warrant one of these. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, like, those bombs, you know, like I said, they're not outright killing them all, but they are really softening them up, which is great. Just fantastic. Go down, Jiggly. Go down, Jiggly 2. Jiggly 2, go down. There you go. All right, let's, uh, let's drop the door here and do a, oh, wow. I think... I'll bet you most of that damage, I think, is from us. We're, i, I got to be a little more careful not to hit that. Let's get the door repaired, too. Okay, here we go. I don't have a, a very large area in between here that I can hit without hitting the blocks. Uh, 
Nice. You did. You did. Oh, you know what? We got this extra point. Let's uh quickly put that extra point into uh, Skull Crusher. There we go. All right, we're even stronger now. Look at that. See how the how we started knocking down the whole group now? I love it. That's the one we really wanted to get because that's so effective with, for crowd control. You did. Okay, come on, guys. All right, let's uh, let's throw back a coffee here. And let's also do a repair. It's not in too bad a shape. The upper one is in really good shape. Let's tap that. Tap that. Tap that twice. I'm trying to be careful so I don't upgrade everything else to concrete that I don't mean to, you know what I mean? Okay. Close the door. We, I do have uh, some repair kits with me, so we're going to have to repair this fairly quickly here. Come on, Jiggly. Oh, <laughs> she went off the side. Die, Edgar. It's the best thing you can do for me is just die. Nice. Look at those heads popping. Oh, yeah, three in a row, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Heads and knees. We can't hit heads, we hit knees. And it's just giving us that stamina back, too. Are you still alive? I think he was. We we can't we can't like s sustain the the power attacks indefinitely, but man, we sure can do so much more than we were we were able to, you know, do before. There's nothing like sexual Tyrannosaurus for melee in this game. It really makes a big difference. Okay, we got to repair. Uh, so let's do that. And we should probably also take a look at uh, repairing here real quick. So everything's in reasonably good shape. Uh, let's hit that. I hope that, you know, by the next Horde Night... We, we can actually make our own concrete. And then, you know, we're going to upgrade this whole little thingy to concrete. I mean, assuming we're still in this town. We probably will be by then, but, man, I want to get out of here as soon as we can. We're just putting them down, man. Look at that. I don't know. Do you guys think we'll get another level by the end of the night? We might. We might. Let's see. Forty-six thousand XP. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh man, I love it. All right, let's take another one of these, and let's also eat this and one of these, just so we don't uh, mess up our stamina cap. Okay, you guys take a little pipe action, pipe bomb action there, and then we're gonna drop the door. If I can get to it. And let's check our our repairing here. Okay, that's good, good. Just one little tap there. One little tap there. And one tap there. That's good. Okay, let's bring the door back. Here we go. Oh, the door itself actually needs a just a tap. There we go. Okay, we're good. Come on, Edgar. You gonna go off the side? Nope. He was definitely softened up by some pipe bomb action there. Ronnie McDonnie, Jiggly, Yo. Nice, look at the knockdown of the group. Love it, 
Love it, baby. I'm just, you know, I'm just a super fan, you guys, of, of the sledge in this game. Um, no, that's not what I meant to do, but you know what? Oh, shit. Okay. It's such a powerful weapon once you get it leveled up, you know? It's a little tough to use at first because of the stamina uses, but once you get to where I am now, it just kicks ass. Okay, can we get to that? No. We'll get, you know, whatever they drop we'll get to at the end of the night, if nothing else. I, I wouldn't mind if the horde keeps coming all night, though, because it just means more XP for us, you know? Smashing heads and knees. You don't need that kneecap, Edgar. I'm telling you. You just don't need it, man. Okay, let's get this. All right. Basic stuff, but not bad. Let's try that one. Okay. We won't we won't see like the really good drops until we start seeing the higher level Zekers. Okay, let's drop the door and uh, check our blocks here. Everything's looking pretty good overall. Just a little tap. Hey, cut that out. A little tap there. A little tap there. And a tap there. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. One right after the other. Popping heads, man. Popping heads. Get that kneecap. And we got another skill point. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, look at that group knockdown. Love it. Okay, let's drop the door, check the repair. Little tap there, little tap there. And a tap there. Everything else is in really pretty darn good shape. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, give us a group knockdown. Not yet, but we're doing knockdowns in general. Jiggly, get off there. Nice. <laughs> oh man, isn't the rag dolly just so fun in this game? Let's take, um, how are we doing on food? Let's eat this. And we got a lot of Zeeks right there, so this warrants a pipe bomb. Nice. Okay, let's drop the door. Check the repairs. Oh, we are out of concrete mix. Okay. Uh, but we have less than two hours left in the night, so I think we'll be okay. We're going to have to inspect the rest of the building, too. Because it sounds like it's getting banged on a bit.
This is the first horde that we've gotten dogs and spider zombies. Or hunter zombies, I guess they're called now. Okay, what do we got? Okay, let's scrap that. They are uh, hitting this. Let's get that repaired. Oh, time to repair. Hopefully we'll come across a, a more durable sledge, a steel sledgehammer here fairly soon. This one served us quite well though, I have to say. Oh, we got a Larry the Lumberjack. Okay, it's three o'clock in the morning. We got one hour left. Let's drop the door for a second. We can't repair that, but it's not in super bad shape. These two blocks are... Yeah, those guys are getting a little bit uh, rough there. So we're going to have to be careful. That one was uh, down quite a bit too, wasn't it? Okay. A lot, a lot of that damage, like I said, though, has actually been more for me. See, I hit it again, damn it. Damn it, Jim. Look at that guy jump through. Sledgehammer skill is improved to 23. Nice. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got a group knocked down there. Beautiful. is starting to see some damage. We got 20 minutes left. Okay, let's drop these guys down. Oh, it's still it's still half. That one's a little less than half now. Okay, we got another bag there. What do we get? Some military fiber, it's not so bad. And it's morning. Let's finish off the group here. And we oh we got another level. I did I just now noticed that. Very nice. Man, they just keep coming. Looks like we got one more Edgar to go here. Come on, Edgar. Get up here, buddy. There we go. All right, that's it, you guys. Horde Night 28 in the bag. Wow, they, we kept going on them until 4.31 in the morning.
Um, we got, oh my goodness, we got like three, do we get three or four points tonight? I don't know, but that is awesome. So what we're going to do is, uh, I want to get Skull Crusher maxed out. Uh, you know, it's just worth getting strength maxed out for all the other stuff too. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the next two points in strength. Oh, now it's up to two points, right? Okay. So we need to get strength to seven to get the next skull crusher. And um, so we'll just, well, I'll probably just sit on that point until, well, actually, this, we want this too, intellect level three. But, you know, we're doing fine with the, with the jailbreaker candy on this. Submachine guns. So, yeah, let's sit on this point until we get another one and then... We'll hit strengths, effective strength seven, so we can get Skull Crusher four. And then we're also going to put more points into 69, and we're going to put some points into Machine Gunner, probably Mother Load. Um, yeah, so we got a lot more to go. Okay, so this block survived the night. And this, yeah, these are pretty banged up, but they, they did make it. And, you know, next time we will have, uh, we should have more concrete with us to keep that upgrade in fact i i'd like to have this whole entire structure upgraded to concrete and probably even put a door on this in uh for horror what's the next horde 35 i think yeah because most likely we're going to get buzzards and probably start getting cops bit too but man i'll tell you what i'm impressed with how this very simple little base that we started with on horde night seven is still holding up and still effective it's really working quite well Let's get that upgraded there. And, uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait till we get more concrete to finish uh, upgrading the rest of that. That's looking good, man. That is looking good. Okay, let's go. What do I have in here? I'm going to just leave that stuff in there. In fact, we don't even really need the large stone anymore at all. Uh, but we do need to keep clay bricks here. Let's actually, hold on, let's keep those with us for a little bit longer. Um... Oh, wow, look at all this. My goodness. You know what? Let's put these back on first. All right, what do we got? Okay, we got some gears. Another hammer and some iron leg armor. That's an upgrade because we're wearing scrap right now. What's this? Oh, that's a scrap shovel. Okay. Uh, all right, cool. Is that... Oh, that's like glitched into the ground, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's get all this upgraded. I hear a dog somewhere. Or, I'm sorry, not upgraded, repaired. Right there. Right there, there, there. And actually, you know, probably even some of this down below here will need to be upgraded to reinforced. So we really need to get a concrete mixer before Horde 35 so we can do all that. But there's very minimal minimal damage over here. They're just, you know, they're doing a good job of staying where we want them to stay for the most part. Not seeing a whole lot around here. Okay, there's a little tap there. Okay, let's get the ramp up, back up to snuff here. And yeah, I don't care about the ground. That's not really that big of a deal. Get that upgraded, that upgraded. Uh, I keep saying upgraded, repaired. There's the dog. Uh, speaking of repairing too, we gotta we're gonna have to get this hammer repaired too. Okay, let's go up here. Yeah, that we gotta hit. This is good. A little bit of uh, repairing there. The lights in good shape. Okay, yeah. So uh, aside from you know getting some concrete going, I think we got everything all fixed back up. 
Very cool. Okay, that was a that was a very successful horde night. Uh, I'm very happy with you know the levels that we got out of the thing, man. That was great. That was fantastic. Um, hmm, what should I do about this? I could probably guess we could go into God mode. Let's see. We want to go to no, not I am DM debug mode. And then we'll go to God mode and just get whoop, get to that so we can loot it. Oh, look at that. That was worth doing for sure. All right. And then we will get back out of God mode here. Okay, cool. All right, you guys. Well, that is Horde Night 28 in the bag. So the next, oh, I'm so heavy. I can't get up there now. Uh, so the next Horde Night, of course, will be 30. And um, is there anything I wanted? I wanted to put these. Now, nah, let's just take those bricks home with us. All right. Yeah, let's just go home. Um, so, yeah, uh, hopefully we will be able to make our own concrete mix before Horde 30 so we can get that structure upgraded. Uh, both the, you know, the part that we ourselves are in, but also I think down below we need to, to get that upgraded too because we're probably going to be looking at buzzards and cops very soon here and they're going to do some serious damage not the buzzards so much but the cops for sure so yeah there we go all right guys well i think that's it for the end of this episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and uh, we will catch you in the next episode Bye bye